this is exciting. Oh, I actually want to catch a legal sized tea because I reckon they are just beautiful on the tree. That would be just fantastic. Probably about 200 metres, I can see some more birds. I'm going to slowly get there, I don't want to spook the fish. Yeah, there's a couple of birds, I'm going to slowly get into it. And it's a really calm day. And if there's any bus stops, you'll be able to see for miles. So I'm going to keep getting into my direction to where I want to go, and I'll definitely be trawling on the way there. Right, we're on. This is very unexpected. I just saw a few birds. Whoa. Um, I just threw the lure out and um, found a bing. Had to straight away. I don't know what it is. I heard this tree now. It's not that big. What a head strike. Oh yeah? Oh no, why? That's exactly what I was wanting. Uh, kingfish. Woo! Really smacked it too. I think it was a bit too small. No oh, man. He really engulfed that lure. Now I hope his size because he's going to get pretty damaged. Um, so I'll try and get him out. Let's put him over here. Just really hope his size. So there you go, small kingy. Yeah. Unfortunately, he's not size 57. He has to go back in. I'll take a quick photo. And uh, yeah. I'm still trying to get to my spot, but uh, I think I might have fun with these guys. Let's let him go. What? He swam off. Hope he survives. Right, what a start. I just saw some birds. I said, you know what, I'm going to throw out a lure, troll it, and you know, it wasn't even two or three seconds later, but a bing, fish on. I think we might try that again. Mate, when you go fishing, you just got to be observant. You see birds, there's like four or five of them that are circling. They weren't really diving, but, um, and I just threw the lure out. I could have actually thrown the lure in and start retrieving, but I thought I'd just uh, troll. And uh, <laughs> oh, I see some bait bust ups here. Could be a herring or white bait. That's just awesome. Alright, so I see some really good activity. And I'm just going to stop the boat and just cast a metal slice. There's heaps of birds there now. Get a shot. Just over here. I've thrown over some burley. Watch. Oh, there's big bus stops over there. Oh, big one, see that? Oh, not quite. Okay, big bus stops right here. Come on, let's get into the fish. Yeah, right there. I think they're just bait. They're not even going for me. Oh, they want to go for that. 
Scouting this ground here, I've never fished here before. Tender species is whiting. Got the hand line first. And what have we got? We found him straight away. You know, that is just a, a sense of achievement. Brand new grounds for me. Um, and that's a beautiful, fine specimen. As my top says, whew, fine specimen, that one. Your yeah, beauty. Get a feed of whiting, mate. I'm happy. Not happy as Larry, happy as Dom. <laughs> yes, straight away. Oh. I think I've got one. Let's see some colour. Yeah, a bit small that one. Yep. Might have two on this one. Got a boom boom. Bit of boom boom. What have we got here? Not a bad fine specimen. That is what we are on about. Whoa. Bit of boom boom here. What have we got? Oh, that's a big That's a big boom boom whitey. Oh, oh my god. And he just threw up his lunch. Which I'm going to use that as well. Beautiful whiting, and this is what he actually regurgitated. It's one of those worms, blood worms. So that's a fresh one too. Use that for bait. We're in the we're in the money. The bottle we're going to use. Put the turn on. That's a big worm too. Oh, oh, that went. That's got some curry. Now that's not a whiting. What have we got? What's that in? Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, bit of a dead white. Oh, good. Bit of a boom boom. We got it. Oh my god. And that's a pearler. We got him on the back of the head too. Actually got him right there. Beautiful. He put him straight into the ice bucket. Well, to give me some curry here. I've brought it around the tip. Very good. Sweet. Well, I'll taste another. Butterfish. No. Ho, ho, ho. Double. That's good. Beautiful. Fine specimens. And I think I can count for a lot of fish shows. They. I mean, they want to go fishing just for the fun, get a feed. Um, you know, they're medium-sized boats. They don't want to go too far. They don't want to try and catch the big fish, but these fish here, uh, to me, they just keep me entertained. It's good fun, good feed too. Absolutely, really good feed. Oh yeah. Mining. Beautiful, fine specimen right here. Beautiful. Yeah, 
Yeah. <laughs> Did really run. Come on, something good. No, okay. Poor man's Barramundi. Oh, my squid jig's going off. That's a good sign. Yeah, I got a calamari. Okay, let's put this one on board. Yeah, beauty. Bit of a mess here. Let's see if I can get him in the water. Is a nice one too. A nice fine specimen. And away we go. <laughs> this is the kind of fishing I love. Oh yeah. Absolute beautiful. Look at that fine specimen. <laughs> love it. It's a rat. Oh yeah, that's nice. He actually went for both hooks. I had to move spot again because it's pretty lean, but still, that's great. Oh yeah, that's good. Lovely whiting, beautiful. And he's just so glass. People will be saying, why didn't you go out far? Look, I probably can, probably still can, but I'm pretty happy like this. A long time in between drinks. Oh, always oh, a beauty. <laughs> I was actually going to discard him, saying it was a bloody small flathead. There you go. Lovely, lovely fish. I'm just content with the calamari. Uh, one calamari and a handful of whiting. I'm just going to muck around and most of the time try to get back home. Never know. A nice tuna will be really good. There we go. Oh, I knew they were probably a bit too small. Heaps of little bites, but not real big tugs. You can go back, mate. Yeah, another fine specimen here. That's the final catch here. Some really nice fine whiting and one uh, calamari. So I'm pretty stoked with that. It's a nice little feed. See you home for a cook up. Alright guys, for the sake of this cook oven, I'm just going to cook a handful of these beautiful whitings. Cleaned them last night. Salt them up a bit. Bit of oregano. Some of this uh, smoked paprika. Just for a bit of extra flavour or zing, I don't know if it's going to work out. Just wanted to do something spicy today. And then I'm going to lightly dust them in plain flour. Really simple, put in the fry pan of oil, they're going to come up really nice. Just going to chop it up a bit just to uh, marinate that oil, give it a bit extra zinc. Fresh dill. Actually, bought this from the shop the other day. Now, I probably should put this at the end of the dish, but I'm just going to throw that in as well in the oil. It might confuse uh, that really nice dill flavour to it. Yeah, it's really worth it too. Put the fish in. Right side down. 
I'm not really getting very crisp because it's windy out here. Try and have it on the cooking. That's probably the better that one. So it's put in the middle of the pan to be warm. So I might have to re reposition some of these. So while that's cooking away, I'm going to try this. And it's so easy eating whole fish. When it's fresh, you just put your fork on the bone and just pick it up like that. There's bones on the side, but I'm pretty confident there's no bones here. Let's get into it. before caviar of the ocean. You've got the subtle flavour of the chili. The dill it's almost disappeared but you can still smell it, taste it. I might sprinkle a bit more on. But it is just amazing. Now I know that piece has got the bones. Right there. Anyway, I want to serve it up for the family. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks very much. Film of fatigue. See you next time. Fish, ducka. Fish, ducka. Fish, ducka, man. Fish, ducka. Fish, ducka. Fish, ducka, man. Fish, ducka. Fish, ducka. Fish, ducka, man. Fish, ducka. Fish. Taka fish, taco man.